Hey, what's up you guys? I have this very, very weird idea in mind. Um, as you can see, I just uh, finished up the dishes. So I'm thinking about making a mango float. Up to this point, I don't have any taste yet. So I pretty much don't have any clue whether if I'm doing the mango float right or whatnot. But, you know, kind of think like, I want to eat one. Right, so uh, it's essentially a good thing that my appetite is uh, still there so that I can pretty much have that craving or or what have you. So, so yeah, um, I'm gonna go prep up uh, everything that I need to do the mango flow. All right, so it's quite late at night already though, but I'm probably gonna get this one done so that I can have it uh, prepared for tomorrow's dessert. All right, so catch you guys later on. All right, so I'm just prepping all the uh, the things that I need for the mango float. So, so yeah. I've, I pretty much asked my family back home to get me all the other things that I need for the mango float. So yeah, I have this um, condensed milk right here, the mangoes, and the all-purpose cream, the gray ham crackers. Yeah, pretty much I have everything that I need. So I'm about to get started, you guys. I'm going to show you how I do my mango float. I'm just going to put down my phone. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. Alright, so see ya. Alright, guys, so first thing that I'm going to do is uh, have the uh, uh, all purpose cream and uh, the condensed milk mixed up in this container right here. What do you call this? It's sauce. <laughs> I still don't have the taste, guys. <laughs> As we all know, condensed milk, they're super, super sweet. It's just weird, guys, because in the past days, I was feeling better, and then uh, lately, I'm catching a mild cold. I have a low-grade fever. I don't know, it's, it's just kind of weird to me. Probably that's just what uh, COVID is all about. It's uh, doing some weird things. So, yeah, I think we're good. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna pour this all-purpose cream uh, to the container, mix it really well so that you can essentially get more balanced flavor. Again, it's, it's a, little, a little weird to me because I'm always talking about flavor as if I can distinguish one. It looks delicious though. I always love sweets, guys. During my free time here, if I'm not doing anything uh, from work, uh, just you know, watching Netflix. Actually, lately I, I've been watching uh, West Coast Customs. Uh, been a fan with the show ever since. Uh, back in the day, I used to watch uh, Pimp My Ride. Uh, hosted by Exhibit, uh, been working with uh, West Coast Customs, and then um, yeah, I, I found them on Netflix. So I think I steered it pretty well. So yeah, right now I'm prepping the the mangoes. Mango float, guys. It's a it's a common dessert here in the Philippines. I can have this all day. It was crazy last holiday because. Uh, you know, the price was uh, extremely high. I've seen some crazy posts online about some unsold mangoes and they're being sold cheap. Uh, that's uh, too bad, you know. A lot of people are looking to get it uh, during holidays. It's uh, too bad. Just how the business works, you know. Alright, so yeah, I think I have enough. Okay, so uh, here are my crackers, guys. One of the main ingredients for this dessert. Alright, so my milk. What I'm gonna do first is 
going to uh, create my base all right, in the pan. That's the word I was looking for earlier, the, uh, the pan. I called this earlier a bow. It's crazy, huh? Being in isolation, guys, I can't help but miss the outside world. I work six days a week and just really used to uh, uh, be outside, you know? And like other people, they get the, uh, the opportunity to work at home. Pretty cool. I've tried that before though, a couple of years ago. The experience was okay. I'm in sales now. I love what I do in sales, particularly cars. Yeah. Alright guys, so I'm uh, gonna be having my base now. Just gonna put it there nice and easy. I'm just gonna have two layers. What I'm gonna do next is gonna pour the, the mangoes here. Let me adjust the camera for you guys so that you can essentially see it. How's that? Is it better? I don't wanna crush any more crackers and put it on the edges. I'm okay with that because once it's uh, frozen up, uh, you know, it's, I, I like the the creamy crust. You know, so yeah. Uh, ready for another layer just gonna have it in the same arrangement guys I wanna call this overload mango flow I really like it so creamy guys another layer two more layers alright so yeah only crackers that I have here just uh, three. It's more than enough because I'm about to run out of mangoes here. So, again, essentially down to uh, one more layer, guys. And so, this will be my final layer. I, have, I still have some few crackers left, so probably gonna crush them all and put it on the toppings. long in the fridge probably can eat them all in a day so all right you guys so I'm essentially through with my mango flow so just a quick recap all you really need is mangoes all-purpose cream condensed milk uh, Graham crackers in a pan as well. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. So I'm gonna show you one more time on what I did. Alright, alright. Hey guys, good morning. So it's been 24 hours already since I made that mango float. I've made some modifications of it. Um, I'm gonna show it to you guys later on. Um, I'm gonna grab some breakfast first. Uh, it's going to be a very busy but productive day because I'm going to be making schedule for my team and I'm going to finish up uh, some of the few uh, pending tasks that I've had in the past days. And yeah, hopefully I can already taste the flavor of the mango float that I just made. Uh, so I'm gonna go and do some chow time, guys. See ya! Alright, alright, so let's see. Ooh, that's a heavy breakfast right there, guys. <laughs> Pretty much gonna finish it all up and then let's go ahead and see what my mango float looks like. See ya!
Hey guys, what's up, what's up? So I'm through with breakfast. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go get my mango float and I'm gonna show it to you guys how I did some modification. <laughs> All right, so here you go. There you have it, guys. Actually, I already ate uh, yesterday and yeah, when I was looking at it, I was thinking like, yeah, I, I think I should make it look more presentable, you know? So, yep, there you have it. That's my mango float. It's literally floating on the cream. All right. Okay, just you know, look at the cream, you guys. This is the kind of mango float that I want. All right. I'm gonna get some sauce right here. All right, so yeah, they, here's my mango float, and this is the finished product. Just look at the layers, guys. Char. <laughs> this won't last a day, I tell you that. So, um, I think I'm gonna wrap this up. Thank you, thank you so much for watching this video if you made it this far. So that's pretty much how I. Uh, made my day productive as well here in isolation so yeah this is my mango float do you want one go make one i'm out of here guys see ya <laughs>